evening what's going on there guys earthmaster here on this beautiful tuesday evening uh, august 31st 2021 first day of september tomorrow it is about 10 41 p.m california time the latest quake on the globe is going to be a 2.9 earthquake right around the puerto rico area quite the active day along the west coast of the north american continent uh, including areas of california nevada and also into the Intermountain West regions um, all throughout Utah and Idaho and parts of Wyoming getting in on quite a bit of earthquake activity. You can see all this movement up and down the major plate boundary here between the Pacific and the North American plate right at the southern end of the Cascadia Megathrust subduction zone there. We've seen quite a bit of heightened earthquake activity in California today uh, including few earthquakes or a couple earthquakes up here 3.6 and a 4.0 striking relatively deep right at the southern end you can kind of see a, uh, a little crevice down here a little canyon if you will where the uh, uh, Pacific plate and the uh, uh, Juan de Fuca plate kind of meet right there kind of squeezing down there uh, in between this little area and uh, that's a little concerning we haven't seen any newer earthquake activity ramping up after that earlier but uh still uh, a little concerning that pressure is definitely building up in that region significantly uh, movement throughout the coastal ranges as well an indicator of um, some stronger pre uh, pressure between the north american and pacific plate here ukiah getting in on a little bit of action up here uh, off the uh what's this makama fault just off that specific fault structure right there 3.4 at uh, 2.9 kilometers pretty shallow for that earthquake uh, a little bit of swarming activity in the geyser area of northern california just west of cobb uh, area that's all typical uh, geothermal type quakes uh, some movement near petaluma and also uh, just north of the bay a couple of small microquakes striking that area as we work our way down south here, we've seen a little bit of movement along the creeping section uh, near the uh, Watsonville area. Looks like Gilroy over here. This activity taking place right smack dab on the San Andreas Fault. 4.1, the largest in this little um, movement along the creeping section. 8.5 kilometers below the surface for that earthquake. Relatively quiet throughout the rest of the San Andreas Fault until you get down here uh, right around the Palmdale area. This here is a major player for some significant earthquakes in the future well in the past and in the future uh, probably about from here uh maybe around here southward uh that's where the uh, big one will hit no doubt that's the uh that's what they talk about when the big one's gonna hit that's gonna be the section the southern uh kind of like the southern area right around up here where we're gonna see the uh potentially what 8.1 i think is what they say on this fault structure uh, this is the uh, next one to go, I'm sure, because it's uh, been quite a while that it's been building up some strain. So movement all throughout uh, the Pacific side of that plate boundary, uh, throughout the San Jacinto Fault area. It's a pretty significant uh, structure, fault system, kind of secondary to the uh, San Andreas Fault. Movement all up and down that area. Some movement around the Los Angeles area as well. A couple small microquakes relatively deep at uh, 13 and 14 kilometers underneath the concrete jungle of LA. There's a 1.8 near Ocotello. Uh, moving up here to the Ridgecrest area, a little bit of uh, aftershock sequences in that area, some explosions. Not for sure if they're trying to activate the Garlock fault structure or not, but I wouldn't be out there with explosions around the shear fault structure here known as the Garlock fault zone. Uh, 1.3 blast and a 1.5 and a 1.7 in that area. A little bit of movement out around Las Vegas, just call a couple, actually just one small micro quake at 1.3 at zero kilometers, okay. And some further activity into this uh, little mountain range here, just a couple small micro quakes in that region. Uh, of course, Wells, Nevada had a pretty good sized earthquake out there, shaking things up in the desert, 4.7, uh, 8.7 kilometers below surface. Haven't seen, uh, too much aftershock activity which is kind of odd not saying it's uh unheard of but uh, i would expect some type of aftershock activity 
kicking up in this area even though we're looking at all magnitudes here we're just not seeing anything uh, following that 4.7 intermountain west regions all up through montana getting in on a little bit of earthquake activity and uh, the sawtooth fault area up here as well movement into the pacific northwest looks uh not too active a little bit of movement near mount rainier and also along the seattle fault structure or the seattle fault zone um rest of the Pacific over here relatively quiet once again off the coast of Japan movement into the Hawaii area looks to be diminishing a little bit around the Kilauea volcano but still active this has not completely stopped so it could just be pausing temporarily uh, and then all of a sudden wham bam thank you ma'am we get a full-blown eruption so we'll see just something to keep an eye on right what else we got here in the south part of the South America area? Up through the uh, well, parts of Ecuador, Ecuador, it looks like. Getting in on a little bit of uh, some deeper movement. Some activity all along the Peru-Chile Trench. And some activity down here along the South Sandwich Trench as well. We are seeing a little bit of movement further to the west. Indicative of some pressure transfer uh, west of all this area that we've normally seen over the past week or so 5.2 near the scotia sea at 10 kilometers in the north atlantic well mid-atlantic ridge area getting in on some activity as well some deeper well not deeper average earthquake activity with this rift zone 5.0 and 4.8 and a 4.7 striking within the same fracture area you can see that little bend there um let's see what do we got here turkey a 5.1 out in that area of the world and um some typical deep movement around the fiji islands area and also up uh, through uh vanuatu area i mean uh vanuatu I'm trying to get my pronunciations correct right i'm gonna get it i am going to get it um let's see here yeah that's about it for uh the usgs map yellowstone national park that is the 4.7 right there on the map that struck the wells nevada area earlier today showed up pretty significantly throughout the majority of the park there in wyoming no specific uh indicators of any um, swarming in the yellowstone area i don't see anything maybe a little small localized earthquake right there some wind events earlier had some pretty uh, gusty winds blowing through the mountains up there we see this quite often when the, there's some good size uh, winds taking place up there it does show up somehow on these seismographs uh what else we got the pacific northwest trimmer department let's check this out real quick uh northern california right what do you know what, what do we see over here let's go ahead and check this out real quick right we've seen a lot of activity here right here right see that we talked about that now let's go ahead and check this is southern end of the cascadia when you think about the trimmer when you look at the trimmer map here right around the same area but this is further down dip downstream uh, a lot of slippage if you will down there what happens when you get slippage you get back build of pressure and therefore we're looking at some earth earthquake activity a little bit shallower up into the already locked area uh, and this is kind of like within the uh, uh, Pacific and uh, uh, Juan de Fuca plate. So, uh, no surprise there. I've always said it. Trimmer, indicative of uh, further buildup of pressure along this uh, Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, not a whole lot going on with the space weather currently. We are watching, uh, of course, the big sunspot, 2860. Wave bye-bye to us. It could pop off. You never know. But it is facing, uh, kind of turning away from us. A couple small other sunspots uh, within our area, uh, the Earth side sun, but there's a little bit more dynamic uh, setup over here of a sunspot that we're kind of watching. Uh, and we'll watch that over the next few days as it comes into view. You can see it pretty significantly uh, brightening up as it comes around the uh, Earth side uh, face of the sun. All right, guys. Have a good night. Uh, we'll chat to you a little bit later. Gonna gonna call it. Gonna call it a night and uh, hopefully get some sleep tonight. Have a good night, everyone. Stay safe out there. We'll chat you guys another time. Peace out.